All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're, we're going to be focusing on the Easter egg hunt that is coming up. We want you to see uh, Sister Johnson. Sister Johnson is heading that. And as Sister Johnson is heading that, she's asking that anybody that has donations for candy, anybody that has donations for those plastic eggs, we ask that you see her after service. And when you see her after service, uh, she's also taking money donations to purchase the candy. But uh, she's also looking for volunteers. So we're looking for that. Now, not only that, uh, we got Palm Sunday coming up with Palm Sunday. Now, look now, we don't want no trouble. But we want everybody because you know how y'all get about y'all seats. So make sure you get here early in order to get your seat. All right. All right. And then now after that Sunday, we made it to Resurrection Sunday, Easter Sunday. Come on, somebody. Somebody lift your hands. Come on. Come on. He's a risen Savior. All right. Now, look, on Easter Sunday, we will have the children dancing. So please make sure your children come out. Please make sure your children come out to to dance rehearsal because they're going to be dancing. Uh, some of the kids are going to be singing. So please make sure they come out to rehearsal. All right. All right. Uh, uh, Pastor, any else? Oh, really quick. Pastor wants wanted me to make this announcement. We are praying for uh, uh, Sister Smith that's in the hospital. She's been given an unlimited time to live. Y'all know Sister Smith, a faithful servant. Been faithful not only to this ministry, but she's been faithful all her life and served as a, as a missionary for Jesus Christ. So we ask you to keep her in prayer. The doctors say it's only a matter of time. But I want you to know I know a man. I know a man that has never lost a case in the courtroom. I know a man that has never lost a patient in the sick house. And his name is Jesus. So we don't do anything else today. We ought to be able to call on the name of Jesus. Because I believe eyes have not seen nor ears have heard what God can do in her life. Somebody ought to pray that and lift their voice today. So during your talk music, there was a lot of different dynamics. I, don't, I felt like I was in service just for about two minutes. <laughs> that is the idea. I'm glad he felt that way. <laughs> uh, I felt like we was in service. So take us through the different dynamics of your talk music because so, it went a lot of different places. Yeah, yeah. So guys, whenever y'all are in service, you have to be mindful of the spirit. You have to be mindful of what's going on. You got to even be mindful of the audience. Notice... Even when he started talking about the kids, y'all might have not noticed, but I literally started playing a kid's song. I, um, I forgot what it was, but I went high. You want to make sure literally everything that the person is saying that's on the mic, you're in tune with what they're saying. Every shift, every anything. As soon as he started talking about how Sister So-and-So was in the hospital, you immediately go to warfare or anything that's prayer mindset wise you want to do that because you're really people thinking it's the all the chops and stuff but it's really you showing how much in sensitive, tune you are yeah, yeah. With the sensitive and in tune with the atmosphere that's what makes you marketable yeah. as a church musician or really as yeah. a musician period you yeah. gotta know that stuff so so, all right, let's go through just some of the core because I know y'all want some of the chords that he was doing on her. So let's just kind of look so at it. So when he did his beginning thing, I was kind of like here. I was thinking of like a 736 thing. What key we in? E flat. E flat, okay. So as soon as he started, I immediately thought of the 736. If you know that the 736 is... Probably do it a few ways. You can either do diminish, or you can do. But 